Welcome to episode one of the We Learner podcast. In this first episode, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the We Larder blog and YouTube channel, what it's all about, what I'm currently working on, and what I hope to share with you all in the future. Um, as you probably know, I'm really passionate about good, wholesome family food, and I'm inspired by my own Scottish traditional food culture, and I also love traditional recipes from all over the world, and I find so much inspiration from my blog and YouTube channel, researching traditional methods of living in the kitchen, garden, and also in the home. I'm also passionate about growing our own organic food, natural living, foraging and other family related topics and I really do love to talk <laughs> and, and share with people but find YouTube and blogging slightly restrictive in that sense so I thought that this podcast would create the perfect place to talk a little further and help you get to know me a little better. My name is Angie Milne, I'm a mother of four and creator of the blog and YouTube channel, The Wee Larder. Join me as I share my passion for wholesome family food, natural living ideas and some organic gardening along the way. Welcome to The Wee Larder. So I'd like to give you an introductory background to my blog and my interests and hopefully this will give you an idea on the kind of subjects you might find here in the future. Ultimately I want you to go away feeling inspired to try new things in the kitchen and garden and also to try your hand at some natural living ideas for your home as well. I really enjoy helping and inspiring other people and that is really what makes me tick. If you have popped over here from my blog, then you can probably guess most of my time is spent in the kitchen and it's really where my number one passion lies. Cooking and creating new recipes is me living life to my full. I absolutely love it. (laughs) I love creating new recipes for the family and watching everybody enjoy the end results, but if it's a disaster, the dogs get it. So somebody is always winning in my kitchen. (laughs) So my passion for cooking goes right back to the days spent at home in my mum's kitchen as a child um, with her old school Biro baking book. (laughs) An absolute classic. I remember hanging her in the kitchen door until the spoon and bowl was ready for licking or for a morsel or two as my mum cooked dinner. And then it was all about the patience of waiting for the cook to end result and we were pretty impatient. (laughs) It was always worth the wait though and I loved my mum's home cooking and it brings back such happy memories for me. Um, All our meals were homemade and I remember her making the best homemade biscuits and treats to feed us all too. I was delighted to get my hands on a retro copy of the Biro family cookbook recently off of Amazon and I am so going to be cooking loads of recipes from it. I'm also particularly interested in traditional methods of cooking, um, food preservation, fermentation and nutritional ideas from all over the world and do find a great deal of my inspiration in my own traditional Scottish food culture. I love to collect and study old Scottish cookbooks and I even have some old family ones too and I love how the old recipes are in tune with the seasons and especially in traditional Scottish cooking they had to rely heavily on what was available locally and seasonally and I think that we can benefit so much from traditional knowledge in the kitchen, garden and home and even from a health perspective as well. Um, And it also helps us tune into our seasonal surroundings, which I absolutely love. I love foraging and as I mentioned in my recent vlog, it's something that I want to learn more of and be connected to what the earth is providing for us at any particular time of year. I love wild foods and hope to create more recipes using foraged ingredients in the future. I must admit though, I'm not keen on wild mushrooms and I don't even allow them in the house. (laughs) I guess with a young family to think of, they just give me the fear factor and it's so not worth it to me picking the wrong one and you know what, I am happy with that. I am happy with buying my mushrooms from the supermarket for now but I love foraging for berries in the autumn and um, I love wild raspberries in the summer as well. So I have actually been creating a lot of fermented foods at the moment and many of the fermented recipes that I use, like traditionally they would have dated back thousands of years 
and I just find that so inspiring and there's so many health benefits to fermented foods I'm really just at the start of learning about um, cultured foods so you're definitely going to find a wide variety of interests and recipes on my blog and YouTube channel and lots of my fermentation experiments as well. We are so lucky in Scotland as well to have such a vast variety of fresh foods which are available right on our doorstep and I love to showcase traditional Scottish recipes because I am a teeny bit proud to be Scottish. <laughs> We live um, very close to the coast and have access to some of the best and freshest seafood in the world here. It's so good that some of it is actually exported to many parts of the world. Um, and our Scottish food traditions are also rich in other foodie delights such as wild venison, grass-fed beef and also delicious lamb. And we also grow a selection of fruits and hearty vegetables as well. And some of which are especially good to see us through the long cold winter months. And of course, there is never a shortage of inspiration from our Scottish traditions in the kitchen. And I feel continually inspired by our country. So when I first started my blog back a few years ago, um, my website was actually called Natural Living. and uh, My Facebook page is actually still called Natural Living. Um, it then grew into the foodie blog it is today. And I want to go back and incorporate some more of my natural living ideas into my blog again and my YouTube channel. And I love using products that are gentle on the environment and also more importantly that are toxic free and chemically free for us as well. So when I first started blogging back a few years ago my website was actually called Natural Living and my Facebook page is actually still called Natural, Natural Living so I need to get that changed. But um, it then grew into the foodie blog that it is today and I want to go back and incorporate some more of my Natural Living ideas into my blog again and my YouTube channel. So I love using products that are gentle on the environment and also more importantly that are chemically and toxic free for us as well. Now I know from trying that it is really difficult to live a life completely organic and free of all harmful substances. It's just crazy to think that. But um, with a few changes here and there, you can make a massive difference in your own home. And I love natural products for cleaning, makeup, showering, baby care, feeding, and I even have a passion for organic and ethical clothing as well. Now, organic clothing can be expensive, but I always shop in the sale. I never pay full price for organic clothing. And I love organic baby clothing as well. Not only is it so cute, but it's so, so soft on their skin as well. So is everything in my home perfect? Well, absolutely, of course it is not. <laughs> um, but as I say, I really like to make a little bit of an effort in this area and I'll go out of my way to source better products in the home. So I'll order things on the internet instead of buying them from the supermarket. But you can, of course, make so many items yourself as well, um, including cleaning products, beauty products, home scents and even washing powders as well. Um, so I hope to share so many of my recipes in this area and the things that I try to do around the home to create a friendly environment for us all to live in. So keep your eye on the blog and YouTube channel for new ideas in my natural living um, hidden. So I'm also going to be adding some more about my organic garden on the blog and YouTube channel and we love to grow our own food and I'm particularly obsessed with organic gardening and growing in tune with natural surroundings. I've really been trying to learn a bit more about permaculture over the last few years. Um, we also try to use the no dig method as well and it's been pretty successful for a few years and we were also fertilizing with organic chicken manure and a combination of grass and straw mulch which seem to work for us. Um, we actually don't have any chickens at the moment but we do plan to get chickens by the end of the year so um, I will we'll definitely be doing a video on that because we can't wait to get our chickens again. So we didn't grow anything last year due to my pregnancy with Mary but we have grown plenty in the past using this method and I'm certainly not an expert when it comes to gardening but I do have a trick or two up my sleeve when it comes to incorporating um, natural fertilizer with hens and growing in a colder climate because let's face it we don't get a very long summer up in North Scotland. <laughs> We are also hoping to erect a polytunnel this year, um, which is probably going to be later in the season now, um, which will may bring many more adventures to the mill gardening activities. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to sharing my ideas from the garden with you and filming some of our growing activities. 
But hey, I'm not an expert at anything and these are just my main passions and what I want to share with you guys. And life is a continual learning curve for me, but I'm really looking forward to sharing um, what I've learned so far and I really hope you find some inspiration in your own kitchen, garden and home. And I really look forward to talking to you all again soon. So take care, lots of love, bye. You've been listening to the Wheel Order podcast series. Click subscribe to keep in touch with our new episodes released every Saturday. You'll find inspiration for delicious, wholesome family food, natural living ideas and some organic gardening along the way. Thanks for listening to the Wheel Order.